How are we doing guys? I hope we're well. Back today with a brand new video and I am very, very excited today guys to bring you my top five best golf shoes of 2020. So guys, this video is going to be separated into two different sections. The first section, I'm gonna be sharing with you my top five best golf shoes. The shoes that are able to be sort of gone out and perched. Well, you probably can't go out and purchase them. You're probably gonna to have to order them from home, wait for them to be delivered. But you get what I mean. The shoes that are available to be purchased now. So my top five best golf shoes of 2020. Now the second half of the video is gonna be shoe of the year. It's gonna be the best golf shoe to release in 2020. So, with that being said, we're going to kick off with part one, so let's get into it. So number five on the list, guys, for the best golf shoe to release in 2020 is the G4 MG4 Plus. Now, these released earlier in the year for a retail price of around £150. The grip is lovely. This came in a number of different colorways. For me, this navy one was, uh, was the standout. Such a cool pair of shoes. Now, the reason why it doesn't quite rank higher on the list for me is the price point it's just a little bit too high for kind of what they offer. But they are very, very comfortable. They're a very sporty pair of shoes. They look great. And so for that reason, they made it onto number five on the list, the MG4 Plus from G4. In at number four, guys, on the list is the Addy Cross Retro from Adidas. Now, these released earlier in the year for around £80. And man, do you get a lot of shoes for around the £80 mark. This is just such a fantastic shoe. It's probably the shoe that I might have worn most in 2020. Now you'll notice this is an icy pair. This is a pair that have not been worn yet. We're actually giving these away on the channel currently. So if you want to find out a little more information about that, head over to my previous video. All the information you need is in that video. But, uh, but guys, in at number four, the Addy Cross Retro. Mega comfortable, great grip, very stylish, and for an incredible price point. In at number three for the best golf shoes of 2020, we have the FootJoy Pro SL Carbon. This shoe is just so, so nice. There are so many features to this shoe. Just FootJoy really highlighting just how incredible they are at designing golf shoes that golfers want, that golfers need, they desire. The chroma skin leather on these shoes is just incredible. It's soft, it's buttery, it's lovely. The cushioning on the inside from the Ortholite Inner Soul is just great. You get lovely cushioning again around the heel from the memory foam. Oh, the, the grip on the underneath is just lovely. You get this carbon kind of plate that runs through the bottom here for your added stability. For me, the reason why these shoes just don't rank any higher on the list than number three is they just lack a little bit of a kind of cool factor for me, which it's just my personal opinion. These may rank as number one on a lot of people's lists, but for me, they're coming in at number three. They retail for around the £159 mark, so they're not on the cheap side, but still, you get quite a lot of shoe for that price point. And a little added hit, when you hit the laces with a flash, they light up. I guess that's kind of making up for the slightly lack of cool. That's, that's a pretty cool feature. But guys, in at number three, the FootJoy Pro SL Carbon. In at number two, guys, we have the Nike Golf Air Max 270G. These surprised the monkeys out of me this year. They really, really did. Just picking up these, wearing them for the first time, I just really, really love them. They look fantastic with the right outfit. It just really sets it off. They were incredibly comfortable. This one piece upper just makes for a fantastic fit around your foot. The cushioning, as you can imagine from this ginormous air bubble on the back is just really nice also. I was very much blown away by the grip too. I think you can kind of see where this is going. I was kind of blown away really by this shoe. They're pretty easy to clean, as you can tell. I've worn these a couple of times. They still look pretty new, obviously not recently here in the UK because these would look brown by now. But, uh, but guys, a really cool shoe. Very comfortable, very stylish, and, and just I think this is going to be a shoe that we're going to see a lot of in 2021. So in at number two, the Nike Golf Air Max 270G. Drum roll, please, ladies and gentlemen, the best shoe of 2020, the Adidas Code Chaos. 
Man, do I absolutely love these shoes. The full length boost, the comfort that you get is just unmatched. It's unrivaled. It's another word for that that I can't really remember now. The upper is just lovely. It's breathable. It's easy to clean. They really set off a lot of outfits very, very nicely with the color schemes that they brought out with these shoes. I mean, this particular model with a gray pair of trousers, just beautiful. The grip on the underneath from the twist grip system is really good also in all conditions. They're stable. They kind of work with your feet really nicely in the swing. They don't keep you too flat on the ground. They're not rolling around. They're not unstable in any way, but they just really work fantastically with your foot during the swing. And guys, they retailed for around the $129.95 mark. And you can pick pairs up for around the £100 mark now. That is an insane amount of shoe for the money. So guys, my top number one best golf shoe of 2020 is the Adidas Co-Chaos. Okay guys, so if you were just here to see the best golf shoes, my top five best golf shoes of 2020 that are available for purchase now, it's the end of the video for you guys. That's it, we're finished, there's no more rankings, that is it. If you are here, however, for shoe of the year, the best golf shoe to release in 2020, you might wanna stick around. So on Instagram, guys, recently I put up a huge bracket, 32 shoes, and asked you guys to rank the best golf shoe of 2020. Your choice was the Air Max 270G from Nike Golf, the Fearless release. That Fearless edition was a class pair of shoes, but in my opinion, not the best golf shoe of 2020. So I'm gonna start with a little, little mention in dispatches. Didn't quite make the list, getting an honorable mention is the Adidas Superstar golf shoe. Just, I mean, these things are so cool. It was the 20th, I believe it was the 20th anniversary of the Superstar this year. And so Adidas made a special edition. A really fun, really cool shoe. It's actually pretty good as a golf shoe as well. I think they're still available for purchase on Adidas's website. But an honorable mention, the Adidas Superstar golf shoe. So guys, in at number five of shoe of the year for 2020, we have the Peace and Love Roshi G from Nike Golf. These things are so, so cool. The details on these shoes are just insane. The upper material is fantastic. These things turn heads. You're on the putting green, hitting a few putts, warming up for your round with a pair of these on. Everybody is looking your way. They're like, what the hell is this guy wearing? I think they're really, really cool. For that, they make number five on the list of best golf shoe of 2020. In at number four, guys, for shoe of the year is the alternate pair of the rather be lucky than good collection, the Air Max 97 from Nike Golf. These shoes, man, when we first got images of these, they looked like they were kind of gonna be an influencer exclusive or a player exclusive, an alternate pair they were never gonna release. And then they did. Nike just, just hit us with a random release. Therefore, I just had to pick them up. The corduroy on these is insane. The attention to detail, the colors on them. Oh, I just absolutely love the way this particular pair of shoes looks. Just a really cool pair. In at number four on the shoe of the year list for me is the rather be lucky than good, the alternate pair from Nike Golf. In at number three, guys, on the list is the Prime Blue Code Chaos from Adidas Golf. This got quite far on the Instagram polls for best shoe of the year. For me, it was kind of a forgotten shoe. It, it released right at the start of the lockdown here in the UK when the Players' Championship was cancelled. It was supposed to get all the attention from the Players' Championship. Obviously, it got one round and then it was cancelled and that was the, sort of the last we saw of it. It got its release from Adidas, but... It just didn't quite, just didn't quite get the attention that for me the shoe deserved. The the sort of the the environmental impact of this shoe as well makes it rank very high on my list. It's a code chaos. Obviously, if you watch the first part of the video, you'll know I'm a big fan of. And so uh, so yeah, for me, this is why this shoe ranks this highly on the list. So in at number three, the Prime Blue Code Chaos. 
Number two on the list, guys, is the Summer of Golf Code Chaos. So these released earlier in the year around the time of the PGA Championship. Just incredible. This particular pair of shoes, the details, the details on here, come as you are on printed on the inside there. The attention to detail. Let me hold on. Let me get this. Uh, let me get this inner sole out. Let me get this inner sole out. The attention to detail on the inner sole on the inside. You get limited edition printed on the back. You kind of have this iridescent kind of finish to the uh, to this sort of the the outsole here that wraps up around the boost. The sort of the gold plating that you get on the uh, on the underside on the torsion system. The different patterns on the twist grip. They just killed it. They just absolutely killed the special box. It came with a dust bag. It was just such an incredible release. As I said in my video, when you're hoping that brands do special editions, you want them to do all of these things. You want them to, to really just go to town, just every detail, no stone left unturned. They, you just really want them to add all these things in. And for me, with this particular pair of shoes, they did it. They just, I can't really look at any part of these shoes and and just want anything else from them. So just a great pair of shoes. Hopefully we get many more limited edition Code Chaos like this in the future. But, uh, but guys, number two shoe of the year, the Adidas Summer of Golf Code Chaos. So have you guessed what number one is yet? I'm sure you probably have. Viewers of the channel, followers on my Instagram page, if you don't follow me on Instagram, head over to the Gold Fashion Guy on Instagram, follow me over there. You guys will probably know what shoe this is. So without further ado, the best golf shoe, shoe of the year for 2020 is the Adidas Vice Ultra Boost. So guys, this shoe released a couple of weeks ago and just took the golf world by storm. Retailing for £220, which a lot of people think is a little on the high side, myself included, but what you got for that shoe was incredible. The box is insane. You got a dozen Vice golf balls with the Adidas logo on them. All of the details on this shoe. The outsole is fantastic. The fact that we've never had an Ultra Boost golf shoe before, is just incredible. They just adapted the Ultra Boost. The Ultra Boost is one of my favorite trainers ever to release and to get it in a golf shoe is just absolutely incredible. The attention to detail with the knit, the different laces that you get, the inner sole on the inside is just insane. The little details that you get on the inside there. The Vice golf shoe, this part here, just, just the amount of effort, the detail that went into this shoe is just incredible. Now, what makes this shoe of the year? 1,000 pairs. So 1,000 pairs were released of this particular pair of shoes worldwide. That is just incredible. To have these sat in my house, just unbelievable. So shoe of the year, guys, Whew. the Adidas Vice Golf Shoe. Just an incredible shoe, just just cannot quite believe how well these shoes came out. So guys, that is it. 2020 is a wrap. We made it. We finished. We've completed it. Bring on 2021. Some of the shoes releasing next year that I've already seen are just incredible. I reckon the list for 2021 might look a little better than the list for 2020. So guys, thank you very much for watching. Take care. See you all very soon. That's me. Peace.